அனைவருக்கும் அன்பான வணக்கங்கள் வெல்கம் பேக் டு another எபிசோட் ஆஃப் குஜாலா இருப்பம் சில்லா கதை போம் டுடே we have another guest here as you can see and in the set portal or priyasan irukonum right who is support adukku so today we have nilakshan with us thank you for also, also known as uh, nilak you. music yeah <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for having me on the show I was not ready to come. He was not ready to come. He was ready to come. He was ready to come. He was ready to come. Because if you have a promo spot, you will know that you have to cut the car. 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 Even if you have a profile picture, you have to cut the car. Like you see his profile picture yeah. on Instagram. It's like so far away. Like you like, took a couple yeah. of months. Yeah. yeah. So it takes a lot of convincing with this guy to get uh, get uh, stuff done but yeah but somehow I got him to the podcast sooner I think he figured out now if I'm not arguing with him he pays off the money with him somehow he gets me to do all the shit what I don't want to do so let me just come and very on the tour let me give him yeah. that being said I mean we should obviously start with like a small intro uh, and as much as you love music you finally like uh, putting yourself out right after a lot of consideration yeah. right this guy just kept everything in the vault like he's like okay yeah i like this let's keep it let's move on to the next song and then boy apdi thodandu nireya covers ella seidu na ken covers ella seidu or 6 7 month pura than na release panni thodangi na honestly it was like close to a year i think like, yeah. maybe, like, well we get to that but yeah. let's, yeah, yeah. let's start with with like a little intro like who is the election um who's no election um, yaar ninga yeah kurungal <laughs> um I do a lot of stuff. Um, I like to bake. I'm a big baker. I'm trying to start my own cookie business now. Um, I, was, I grew up singing a lot. I grew up like, in a musical background with Mirdangam and yeah. drums and like, as a percussionist in, in elementary school and stuff like that. Um, I was in choir as well. I don't know if we've ever talked that about that. Yeah. that. I don't know. That I don't know. This is new information for me. Yeah, I was okay. in choir from like grade four to like grade eight. And then when high school hit, it was kind of like when the voice started changing yeah it was hard right i lost <laughs> yeah. a lot of confidence yeah. i was like okay now i don't sound like like my mom anymore when people pick up they're like they think it's my dad now <laughs> it's like my mom so i'm like oh like yeah. it was cracking a lot so i got away from that in high yeah. school um and then then i got back back into it with like uh with the spiritual center with like side budgets and stuff yeah. like that i started singing there um but i never really did anything outside other than budget so i'd go oh, to budget yeah. i sing there people hear yeah. me there that's it uh i didn't i didn't build that confidence back up uh so i didn't really have an idea of like you know doing the rock music and all this stuff right. and then this guy just like i don't know i don't know how you did it but you did it right? <laughs> but you also did your arangetam in, in mirdangam right yeah i did that i did that um just before i entered university right so like 2006 so 2006, that was yes. yeah that was big uh, that was a lot of work Yeah. Uh, a lot of like last year I seen you guys say the dad so you went to 2006 and all that yeah, yeah. 18 that years ago you were like more than 40 40 years ago I seen you guys I went to the arrangement center yeah without revealing any any age numbers and stuff like that yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> so who who was your master uh, Basan master right. yeah so very he, well known to the Tamil community here obviously in oh, Canada yeah, like our Thiriya or Thirumai is less so that's why I asked you like yeah 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 like, these are like little opportunities to like you know yeah. shout these people out and then and you yeah. know thank them also of course like yeah. he gave me a lot of confidence with that and uh, taught me a lot yeah uh, him and my dad actually grew up together back home so they were like best friends so like oh, wow, okay. that's why I ended up going to him and then like he took me under his wing for sure and he's like he would take me places and he'd be like all right just like practice now I'll practice yeah. now and it's like spent a lot of time so that was like grueling so it was good that i did it right before university hit nice yeah. have you ever thought like teaching murdangam you know usually uh, that's what the next stage right yeah, yeah yeah i did for a long time um and then when university hit i got really busy and was like stressed mm. with that so i did, i stopped going to teach with him mm. and then it just kind of just kind of got dropped with that i would just i just play at home now here and there um and the programs because the programs kind of took a lot of time mm, yeah yeah like the rehearsals and stuff and with the schedule with the university and then my other interests and stuff it it was just hard to you know incorporate everything right true but i enjoyed it i enjoyed teaching for a while there oh, with, nice. with him though okay skills you have an issue <laughs> <laughs> keeps calling me anyways yeah no that 
that's obviously awesome. I mean, you started technically as a as a uh, percussionist, mm -hmm. right, and mm -hmm. drummer, and uh, that's the funny part is I started like that too before I even started singing. Right, right, I started right, right. as a drummer, oh. right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then eventually learned mridangam and stuff as well. But um, that that that's like a good connection too. We have. we all spoke about that as yeah. well. But like before we even Initially, started singing, we started yeah. more like a tolva atitilan. Well, then we start beating up instruments <laughs> and then we started singing right so now uh, we should probably get to the point how you even got, got to um, work with me and stuff like how you approached yeah. me and what you approached me <clears throat> for and stuff yeah yeah so that I was gonna get to like right right next because that it's just so weird how everything happened so I was getting married yeah I actually had this like dream for a long time since me and my like, wife now uh, got together that I would sing her entrance music yeah. like both right so it was a kind of like a far-fetched dream because I, I don't, no one really knew I still sang and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, I'll just do it yeah. and I'll surprise her with it. So then I would, I was like doing this and this is like maybe like eight months before the wedding and I was kind of planning ahead, right? So I was practicing and I'm like, you know what, like I can use some help with my voice. Like I haven't like, like, you know, just to help with my singing voice and like all the technicalities and stuff like that. So I'm like, I need to find somebody, but I'm like, oh, I gotta find somebody that's like, you know, that'll help me not in the Carnatic world, because yeah, I knew yeah. a bunch of th those mm. teachers, but someone that'll help me with what I need to do. So then I happened to ask my cousin, yeah. Shika, I was like, uh, do you know anybody? And she had just met you, I guess, during COVID, Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So she was <laughs> like, oh, I know this guy, like Steve Cliff. Yeah. He's like, you know, he's a really big producer and like does really good work. And she's like, why don't you talk to him? So then I think we messaged you a couple of times and then we couldn't get a hold of you because he was like, I don't know if it was a busy time. Or, or he's like, I don't want more students. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then uh, I f we finally uh, touched base and yeah. I told you what I want to do. And you're like, all right, yeah, you know, come in. So I, I remember like how it was because I came in, he sat down, he's like, all right, so what do you want to do? And I told him what I want to do. And he's like, all right, so what we can do is we'll record both songs because, you know, we don't want you to get emotional and think. I came up with the idea that I'm going to play a track and I'm going to sing over it because I'm oh. like, I don't want this to yeah. like get messed up. Oh, right, right, This right, guy's right. like, you know, we're going to record your voice and do this. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. Like, I was like, yo, I'll just sing over this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like we worked together. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, all right. He heard me sing. He's like, all right, don't worry. We got this. He's like, what songs do you want? Like, All right, one, three songs, we'll get it done. The funny thing is, we're like, we had to cancel some, we had to push back some yeah. like, sessions, like our timings weren't matching yeah. up. And it was getting closer and closer to the wedding. I was getting nervous. I'm like, Yo, we're not going to record this in time, not because of him, because of me. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't know how many takes it's going to take, how <laughs> I'm going to do this. This guy's like so chill. He's like, we got this, we got this. I'm like, bro, like there's like three months left, man. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> no, of course, but I didn't have confidence. But, but you I had like time, zero right? confidence in this, yeah, right? Okay, like, okay, okay. I like I knew he could do it, but I was like, I have zero confidence in myself doing this, right? Well, I believe more in him than he believed in himself. Yeah. We've talked about that. We joked yeah. about that so many times, right? Like, I even tell my wife now, like yeah. Steve had more like confidence in me than I have, yeah. even like probably today. Yeah. Right? He's like, yeah, yeah, bro, we'll like shoot this video and do this. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? Like, <laughs> yo, let's just keep shooting covers and like stash it in the vault. Yeah. <laughs> we'll release it when I die, man. <laughs> and we don't have to deal with any of this, but yeah. yeah well, that's shout out to Bashika, right, for for connecting us. Yeah, so for that, sure. That yeah. Obviously was cool yeah so she knew of me but uh, during covid actually she came through for for another project and stuff like right. that and then now obviously her kids are coming for her sessions yeah. and stuff so it's, it's cool so yeah that's how we met and uh, yeah like he said he was like he actually wanted to like record his voice and, and sing over it or something he was yeah. actually planning to sing live also i think yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. i told him bro Trust me, that's not gonna happen. You should record the song and then and then it's good because it's not like he's singing for for his uh, sister or whoever. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. For his to be wife, and yeah. then she's gonna walk down uh, walk down uh, towards him, and he he obviously uh, I didn't see that happening. Him like being not emotional and, and like confidently sing. This yeah. guy, uh, like you said, is already not confident about it. <laughs> yeah. And then imagine, imagine he's like about to cry and shit and he has to sing and the voice starts cracking. So that's oh, it. Yeah, <laughs> it, was a, it was a good move because I yeah. ended up, I think, 
got emotional for both entrances. Ah, uh, see? So it was a good move for sure. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't have happened. I probably yeah. would have just dropped the mic or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the funny part is, like, he had, like, a bunch of stuff planned. This is what I want to do. There's, like, two different entrances, mm. and these are the songs, and then we worked on it. And then literally, like, for four, four months, five months, was voice, was just voice training, practicing mm. the songs, like, perfecting it. Because one of them was, like, a more... Yeah. more um, yeah, like a Carnatic based song. So yeah. it was like pretty, pretty tough, right? So to, to get those things right, right away. But he, he did a good job. And that's why I was like, confident. like, yeah, by the time he's, he's going to be fine. Like, yeah, I think, I believe he came in in like, like an October, November time. Mm. And his wedding was like in July. July yeah. So that was like plenty of time. Right. So, and I was like, okay, I, it's going to be good, man. Don't worry. Right. So, because the way he like, when he sang the demos for me, like when he just sang it, I was like, okay, you're sounding good, man. We just have to work, work on little, little things and then you'll yeah. be fine. And then I think low key, he had some confidence. So, because <laughs> yeah. eventually he came like, he came like, he's like, yeah, um, for our reception, I want to do like a medley. And I said, like, okay, medley. And okay. And this guy comes up with like a huge fucking list. And it's like, Oh yeah, so I want to do these eight songs. I was like, what the what? heck? <laughs> I don't know if it was eight, but yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah, definitely it was like, like seven, it was, eight it was like close to that, yeah. Right. Like, it was like a bunch of songs. The first dance, the other got to go to party. And then uh, there was like a full medley, like with all the songs, like throughout their dating life, like mm. uh, what, what was yeah. like, played oh, right, an important right. role in their life. So like a storyline kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, 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 it was just yeah. stuff that like, even like uh, Kanmudi and stuff yeah. was one of the songs, right? And yeah. that was something that happened before because there was like a couple of songs, that and Baba and Nilavis. Yeah. Hmm. Those two songs, my wife, before we got together, would tell me like, hey, like for some reason, I don't know, when I hear this song, it reminds me of you. Oh, okay. Oh, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's like yeah, stuff yeah. like that, right? Yeah. Like this was even before we even yeah. got together, we were just friends and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it'd be nice if we'd like kind of told a story and then go into our slow dance. Mm. Because sh sh like her, like me, like we just don't like to be the center of attention. Yeah, yeah. So we're like, this would be a good way where yeah. we get everybody around the dance floor and it just happens, right? No, mm. why I was laughing is in the other cover, out of the other Okay. So we can record this, right? I was like, for what? He's like, yeah, so we can record it. I'm just, I'm just going to sing over it. I was like, no, you're just going to sing live. live. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we're going to arrange this whole thing. And then you're going to sing it live. So what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're going to sing it live. There's no, no like playing the recording and singing on top of that. Yeah, it's just going to sing live. Sing live. And he actually ended up singing it live. Oh, nice. The whole thing. That was a crazy night though. Yeah. yeah. I remember and then I had to try to convince him to jump in at the end with me <laughs> because like my wife had never met him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, so I was like, oh, it'd be cool if yeah. like uh, with the harmonies and stuff, he jumps in at the yeah. end. Yeah. He's like, oh, I don't know, man. I'm like, listen, man, like. This is something that, like, I thought about. Yeah, he said like, one thing, do. though. He's like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So before you go read the what he said, it's like, you made me do all of this, and so you got to do this for <laughs> me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because I said no, because that's the time, COVID time, where I plan COVID and Murilo yeah, time, yeah, right? Yeah. And then the loose way, and say that, right? I was like, clean shaven, what day I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so you had to shave head and everything. You couldn't even recognize like, it. bro, I don't want to come. <laughs> I had to come for the wedding anyways, yeah, right? Yeah, and then yeah, I mean, yeah. we came for the reception. And then I said, like, yeah, no, man, I don't want to come for Paul. <laughs> he was like standing there, like, no, let's just go. Yeah, it's, I was like, okay, whatever, okay, let's do it. Yeah. But yeah, but I think in the world, that's why, I mean, it was true, though. It was Yeah. So, yeah. No, I mean, in the sense of he obviously revealed something. He's like, mm. yeah, he had like a vision. It was most, like where we both of us perform mm. together and stuff. But other lands are not in any little. Sentiment attachment on now. Okay, sentiment attachment. Sorry, bro. 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 So I ended up like being at his reception. Yeah, so yeah. it was fun. So nice. it, was so, it, was, yeah. it was really cool. Yeah, like, it was so fun. Like, because it was like very intimate, not too many people. It's not yeah, like yeah. this standard reception with like 600 people where no one knows who came. And <laughs> yeah, who yeah, went exactly. Yeah, 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 because yeah. it was like one of those things where it was like, all, like you said, intimate. And we got everybody like that was there. They mm. were willing to stand up around yeah. the dance floor. So we were oh, in like yeah. a circle of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just me and her. And then Steve jumped in. Like two of my friends like yeah. picked her up for one of them. And it was like, yeah. oh, so nice. it was like a cool atmosphere overall. And we just yeah. like kind of opened the dance floor like that yeah. too. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. But hearing your backstory, like you're coming from musical backgrounds and stuff, so yeah. it was no surprise that you could sing. But but in the Madri songs of Sing Panegla, was, was it like shocking for your relatives or including your wife? Or, or they were like, oh, they knew straight away, oh, that's him singing. Or? No, no, no. So this, <laughs> this worked out because like, 
for for the first entrance song, nobody had any idea. So this is the thing. It was a surprise for my wife as well. Okay. She didn't even know I was uh, working with Steve. Yeah. So how I, did you how did you manage to like obviously you yeah. update her where you go and stuff, right? Or Yeah, I mean like I don't like I don't have like a <laughs> just, five just, my iPhone just, activated on my just, phone. Or just so. in case she's watching. So. Case, yeah. <laughs> and they were not married at that time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Look, there's a little uh, little bit of leeway. <laughs> <laughs> um so usually during the day I would uh, tutor tutor somebody a kid and then I would come straight here. Hmm. So then I would just be doing that like weekly. Yeah. Uh, so she didn't know. She, I actually told her on like right after the wedding. I was like, uh -huh. oh, we've been working with this guy for like uh, seven months. <laughs> and she's like, what? <laughs> and the, the good thing is, the crazy part was like, I had given her a hint that I had done this. Like I, I, I got her bridesmaids to give her notes. Yeah. And the last I had pictures of like a time together before her first entrance. Oh, right, right. Like, so like different things, like, like silly things to other people. But like to us, it was like, it's like oh, okay, a, I remember this combo yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then the last three her, her bridesmaids gave her was, uh, hear me, hear, hear my voice. Yeah. Right? Those are the last cards yeah. that each of them gave her. So she, like, they, someone sent me a video after saying, like, she guessed, like, hey, is this guy going to sing? <laughs> but then she comes out. She walks in. I'm, like, crying. She, like, stone face. She, like, comes, sits beside me. I'm, like, waiting for her to say, like, you know, like. What a reaction to be like? No, she didn't say anything. I'm, like, okay. So I'm like, do I tell her? And I'm like, no, 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 there's another one. Let me just leave it. Yeah. Maybe she realized, yeah. but she's just caught up in the moment. Yeah, yeah. So I, I let her go. And then the second one, she told me, I saw her start to tear up there. And then that's when she realized. And I think a lot of people at the wedding didn't know the first one was me, but they knew the second one was me. Because I think we used the original music for the first one. For the first one was not, what was that? Um, that was... Was uh, it not there, you know? Yeah, yeah, Otteriva, Otteriva. Yeah. so Otteriva, we, we used the original song, so we, he didn't want it to reproduce it. He yeah. said, yeah, let's use the actual karaoke because both of them really love the song as yeah, is yeah. kind of thing, right? So we just did it. I think people didn't really like realize because what's the original music, music yeah. people didn't re uh, realize, okay, this is a different voice. Voice, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. Yeah. they let him write it on Babinam. Yeah, oh, entrance. Yeah. And then, yeah, voice or the yeah. Yeah. For the second entrance was Pukal Puk. And that's oh. the song where, where we said, okay, we need to work more, more on it, make sure like, every little nuances are done properly and, and all those things, right? So you work like really hard on that to get it right. Right. And then other uh, one full on reproduce but so music of full reproduce but we had uh, Brennavi, shout outs to Brennavi. She played uh, the flute for the song as well. And uh, Tabla was played uh, Yadavan played uh, Tabla, so shout out to Yadavan as well. So yeah, so that was like a full-fledged production. And uh, yeah, so now you can continue. So I think that's when they realized, okay, this is something. Yeah, so because the, the music was different, so I guess people paid more attention to yeah. it. And then uh, I didn't tell anyone I was doing it. The only way for someone to find out was it was on the our itinerary for the wedding. Because yeah. oh, I put like Steve, like I made the itinerary, so I like put Steve's name on it, like he produced the music, yeah. and I put like singer as me oh. so it was like some people said after that they were reading through that and they were just like why is it saying like the lecture is that like <laughs> like is that like a easter egg or is yeah. that like actual singer or something singer, right yeah. um so a lot of people didn't realize until the second one and then the actually the ayer like who actually knew me since i was a baby yeah. he turned to me and he was just like is this your voice i'm like <laughs> yeah <laughs> meanwhile i'm like trying to hold it in right yeah, yeah. um and he's like okay He's like, oh, yeah, can you just, he did it to the DJ. He's like, oh, can you put the volume down? I'm like, oh, man, this is my favorite part of the song. He's cutting it short. <laughs> but then he grabbed the mic and he's like, oh, like, I just want to let everybody know that this is the groom singing for the bride oh, entrance. Yeah. So then everyone was like, oh, okay, like, this is actually him, yeah. right? So that was a cool moment yeah, too for he, us. he told me like a couple of funny stuff after. So I think like a bunch of his uncles and stuff went back to the DJ. I think yeah. they played like two or three times. Yeah, yeah, said, yeah. Right? we were like standing in line for like the shoots at the end. I'm like, why do they keep playing this? And then the first one would play. Then the second one would play. And then the DJ, was, he told me, he was like, yeah, your uncle would come. Can you play both songs? Okay. Then my dad would call me. He's like, yo, can you play both songs? And we just kept going in a loop. <laughs> oh, a loop. Nice. Yeah. yeah so. Because uh, surprise for everyone, right? Yeah, I think the yeah, only yeah. people who knew was like his brother and, uh, and your sister, right? Yeah. My yeah. sister knew the day before. My brother knew the whole uh, time I was going time. to you. He oh. was the only one I told. Yeah. Uh, I tell him everything. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, oh, I'm going to Steve, like this thing. And I would send him the demos that yeah. we worked together. Yeah. And I was the first demo I remember, It was I was so disappointed. I'm just like, I sent it to him. I'm just like, this is so bad. 
I'm you like, actually I said that like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I told him straight up. I'm like, this is really bad. Yeah. Do not judge me. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to do this anymore. Because oh. my voice was bad at the time too. I think I was like, I had some like voice issues at that time. Yeah. We were trying to figure that out too together. Um, and then I'm like, yo, I don't know if I could do this. And then he's like, he said the same thing you did. He's like, no, no, no. Like, it's fine. It just needs a little bit of work yeah. and you'll get there like, exactly, yeah. you know, soon. So luckily it worked out. Yeah, man. It's so fun. Not for, not for him, for me though. <laughs> yeah, so once the wedding was done and stuff, I was like, so what's the plan? So then he decided he wants to continue. Uh, continue yeah, I was going to ask that. Yeah. So usually I want to celebrate on the occasion. Yeah. That was the now. initial plan. He wanted yeah. to do it for yeah, that exactly, occasion. And yeah. then he, I think it was all, it's also like uh, for a lot of people, uh, it's also kind of like a like therapy session. Yeah. Right? yeah, for, yeah. For, you have all this, um, all this stuff that you have to do throughout your Uh, like day day to day routine that yeah. you have work and whatever other commitments you have so this is like a, like an escape for a lot of people it's actually as well. true one of a person who comes <clears throat> to your session they actually told me i should some of the cover they were yeah. telling this is not for putting me out there yeah. or anything this is help me to escape yeah. so yeah, it's this, this true is like yeah. uh, she brings uh, two of her kids and then she comes for session as well because she sinna isla wom nare nare party the class ko poyirukra and opportunities on mere kele so right. now she's doing it because she has the time she has the financial needs to do this on the side so she wants to she wants to just like have fun and do yeah. this right and then she gets to put it uh, put it out as well but that's not her main purpose it's just like you know for fun she gets to sing she gets to film it if she ends up putting it out or not is a different story but right. uh, yeah. she's doing it for her own satisfaction and i think at some point that that something that uh, was also the purpose for you you like yeah. it's like a little escape where you do something that you love to do yeah yeah because yeah. i think even there there are some weeks where if we don't have a session yeah i think i messaged you and like yeah. yo i've had a tough week yeah. can we like meet up like thursday friday like do you have yeah. any oh, time right because right, yeah. right. it's like good like me and him will catch up we grew close yeah. together like yeah over the like the wedding thing like all the like oh crap are we gonna get this done like all the tension <laughs> with that like yeah. we, we got closer than the reception stuff uh so it's good for me to like get away from everything talk to him and yeah. then like uh some sessions is like we'll just yeah, chill we'll and just we'll talk, talk. <laughs> <laughs> and we came like became really good friends too yeah, through yeah. this process so it's not like just music sometimes it's just like oh we'll talk about okay purchasing purchasing a house for example that yeah, was like yeah. that was a topic too yeah, it's like yeah, yeah with all the mortgage issues yeah, that are yeah, happening yeah. like what do we do or how do we even find a house and stuff and then <laughs> i would tell him like the the nightmare stories i went through yeah. with, with, with purchasing house yeah. and stuff like that and and also the good side of it so we would talk about those things so that, these are like stressful things right and then of course if you get someone and find someone you can talk about this mm. because என்னதான் நிறைய ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இருந்தாலும் சில பேரோட சில விஷயங்கள் கதைக்கில் அதோ யூ டோன் கெட் லைக் வேல்யூபிள் சொல்யூஷன்ஸ் ஆர் வேல்யூபிள் லைக் இன்புட்ஸ் வாட் யூ குட் டூ அண்ட் லைக் யா யூ வில் ஃபிகர் இட் அவுட் அப்படி இல்லாமல் ஒரு காமன்ஸ் வேறு மத் திஸ் லைக் வே யூ அட்லீஸ்ட் டெல் பீப்பிள் ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் த பேட் சைட் ஆஃப் இட் திஸ் இஸ் அ குட் சைட் ஆஃப் இட் அண்ட் டேக் அவே த பெஸ்ட் ஃப்ரம் வாட் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ அண்ட் ட்ரை டு ஃபிகர் இட் அவுட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் திங் ஈவன் ஸ்போக் அபவுட் யோர் குக்கி பிஸ்னஸ் ஐ திங்க் யூ ஷுட் டாக் அபவுட் தட் அ லிட்டில் இன் டீடெயில் இன் அ பிட் அஸ் வெல் பட் யா ஸோ வி வி க்ரூ வெரி க்ளோஸ் டுகெதர் அண்ட் தென் விஷ் வி ஷேர் லாட் ஆஃப் ஸ்டாஃப் பர்சனல் ஸ்டாஃப் அஸ் வெல் அண்ட் Uh, yeah so i think that's why he would message me sometimes when there's a cancellation when i can do the session or something he'd be like yeah i can come later in the week too let me know yeah. just try to get it in cuz it feels it does feel weird now right like where i go like one week and we can't like find the time uh, yeah. together then it's like oh okay something's missing this week it's yeah. like oh like the, it's like oh like i'm excited to like uh, record our next cover or song then it's like oh, okay i got to push it off a week then it, it gets like uh, disappointing but madri like that week it's not complete yeah, yeah, kind of thing yeah something something missing right yeah, from the yeah, week because yeah. it becomes but the next day after work went in but thodandu vandu ondi irukku var nandu illa avan sonna odane i was like yeah. okay good so i think um, he asked me like what like a week before the wedding too yeah. he's like so bro so what's the plan be, going yeah. forward right? yeah. after the wedding what are you going to do and he said like, oh obviously going to come on there but i was okay that's nice so <laughs> i'm happy about that and i said yeah. like, good so then once the wedding was done i told him okay you will have hotel and say the nanga let's just turn it into covers shoot it and then we should release uh, release it How was that? That reaction? was a reaction, nothing. <laughs> I was just sitting there saying, "In the brown is saying, "Are you serious?" And I was like, "Yeah, in the way part is my record when you went in the same morning and I can listen to it." So <laughs> <laughs> I can I can listen to it once in a while. I was like, "No man, oh, start putting that." <laughs> yeah. It's like start putting it out and I said, "Okay, we can film it." But putting it out, let me think about it. Yosi pa. Yeah. That's okay. What's a better time? And I mean, the Ugla vajja da kana covers ala then shoot pani te. Yeah. And then once you were ready with the first one, I I, I send it to him. I say, "Can I marry? Postpone over." He's like, "No, bro. Let's wait." 
It's very, okay, next month we can post it for sure. And it's only that we were trying to do some, move to some point to the week. I think we we spent even like I delayed, I managed to delay it by just saying like, oh, I got to figure out my Instagram handle. Yeah. For this. Oh, yeah, yeah. You didn't have that specific yeah. Instagram yeah, for yeah, it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's like, okay, we could just do this. Like you put music at the end or you put yeah. your full name, like part of your name. Hmm. And I was like, okay, let me just think about yeah. it. I think we like managed to push I, I told it. him like, yeah, just convert the existing uh, company because he doesn't post much anyways. Okay. So I said, just convert that because he already has for, uh, followers there and then open a new one for your private use, right? Exactly. And then he eventually like, eventually opened the account. He's like, bro, I opened an account. That's wow. like probably the work. Account where you had to go add like the stuff that you need to yeah, add. Yeah, there's no profile picture. Put like picture a profile picture. <laughs> yeah, then he put like a profile picture. That's what I was telling at the beginning. That's what I was telling at the beginning. Yeah, he was wearing like black suit yeah. or something. So it's like, I was like, what? That's why Adam zoom money na. That's why I was like, that's why I was like, right? So Adam was like, tour of it. Photo Mary on the phone. Yeah. And eventually he said, okay, bro, let's we can post it and then. For us, earlier, when the original college night, when the collab post, we accept one where I know this guy sees it. He's probably like, "Did you accept one or that?" No, he knows it. We'll do it. We'll accept one. And then, yeah. So finally, we put like few covers out, and then I dropped the next bomb, which I was did. oh, that, that was. <laughs> then he's like, "Oh, we're gonna like uh, so we've shot this many covers. Yeah. We started posting. All right, so let's." Uh, let's uh, make our own song right like let's do an original song yeah. now so that's kind of the glimpse we gave on the promo yeah, exactly. right so that was actually something with, that probably i think word for word probably yeah. <laughs> it was actually the promo happened. was actually like real that, the, real, that the, we recreated for the video as much as we yeah. made it like so comedic and stuff that was actually how it happened yeah 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 that's the funny part like that dadilla original song sayra dan apni all promo la solver ada umme apdi dan sonnaru it's like we just recreated whatever yeah. actually really yeah, happened yeah, yeah, yeah. was not like done just for the promo no, purposes no it was actually <laughs> Probably word for word. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that was new in the promo is making him talk in Tamil to say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, okay. now original part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because at the time then you had released like three covers or something, and then yeah. you were, we were mentioning that yeah. in the promo too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, so then now you can we can talk about your uh, original song that we just released like a uh, few weeks ago, and uh, yeah, so we decided. அதுவும் அவர் தப்பிட்டார் அதில் மியூசிக் வீடியோ எடுப்பேன்னு சொல்லி அது அவர் அவர் தப்பையில் தப்ப வச்சுட்டாங்க ஒய்ஃப் இருக்கிறாங்க மியூசிக் வீடியோ எடுப்போம் லெட்ஸ் மேக் இட் லைக் அ ப்ராப்பர் மியூசிக் வீடியோ தென் இட் கம்ஸ் பேக் Yeah, bro, with the smile on his face. And I was like, <laughs> because it's not his fault this time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he has an yeah. excuse. So he's yeah. like, yeah, I don't think we can do the music video, bro. Because uh, my wife doesn't want to be in it. She, she's like, no, she can't do it. She was already forced to do it for the, for the wedding yeah. and stuff. So she doesn't want to do it. So I have to do it alone. I said, okay, I'll wear a form of language. He's like, 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 I was like okay so let's so let's let's do like the real format and stuff and then we we yeah. shot like multiple uh, reels for the song yeah. and uh, which is also the new way to to market the uh, market your your songs and stuff like that mm, anyway yeah, so apart yeah. from a music video a lot of people do that anyways yeah. where they shoot like separate content just for Instagram exactly, and TikTok yeah, yeah. so we just went that route and eventually like released uh, his song Min Mini and now we can probably talk about how all that happened i mean we already re- revealed that in the promos but um yeah so he wanted to obviously dedicate the song to his wife yeah. who else right choice ruka alu promo la pote ga yeah that was a fun promo though I, I so but, but, but everything we did in the promo that's exactly how it happened when i yeah. suggested to him let's do the original song he was like yeah really do you think i can do that and stuff mm. so again the, the doubts he had with the covers came back for the original song yeah. and i said like, no man you can do it let's just do it it's the same thing you just going to create your own song now the lame part of the morning is the lame part ring is the same thing so and then eventually like i had something ready when he came for one of his yeah. sessions so literally how it was they have a beat ready for you check it out yeah. and i could really actually really liked it and then we started like you know jamming to it try to figure out enna madri part eludala and then the, his idea was like to include like uh, his wife's name yeah which, which is her. <laughs> with Shamini yeah. Um, yeah and then he was just like oh Shamini like uh, how are we gonna like try to incorporate that and I was like yeah. but she goes by Mini yeah. and then this guy's face lit up he's like oh we can do so much with that <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. Like, yeah, everybody calls a Mini I was like alright this is <laughs> let's it. do it and then part of Mini and then one day yeah yeah right? yeah that's how yeah. we got that yeah and then I, he's like yeah so what do we do about lyrics I was like yeah you're going to go to the lyrics 
He's like, what? Yeah, that was yeah. again. Like, I think oh, we're, we're going to do English, right? We're going to do English. He's like, no, man, English. write in Tamil. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. You have to help me. I say, like, obviously, I'm going to help you. But, <laughs> I, but I can write the song yeah, for you. Exactly, you go, yeah. He said, you want to dedicate it to your wife. <laughs> yeah. Write about your wife. So how am I going to write it? So you do it. So write bullet points, come up with lyrics, and then we change it up. To my surprise, because he, this guy always makes everything look like, oh, I don't know anything. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> then this guy came like with, with full, full-fledged lyrics and I had to just change here and there, little, little things. We had right. to like change it towards the melody, make it fit to the melody, not hmm. whatever I was writing was bad. We just yeah. had to change it and match it to, to the melody yeah. we came up with and stuff, right? Hmm. So it was like minimal things and, and that's good. Like, so that's what I mostly do with every artist. Anyways, when we start working on original songs, hmm. I involve them completely in the, in the production. Like it, it shouldn't be like that where I just produce a full song with the melody, get the right. lyrics written. If I write it myself or if I get another lyricist and then just give that to him and say like, okay, Idan part, he the party the bonga. Now he j- technically just lends his voice to the song, which yeah. is technically like a film song. Then yeah. all the yeah. singers go oru choice mila. Exactly. They yeah. are invited to the to the studio. The co- composer or director will be like mu- music director will be like, okay, Idan part mm. the kerlinga. And then we will record. So yeah. there's no options there. So obviously most of the music directors now give them give them the freedom to do their own sangadis, mm. their own variations and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But the the melody, the lyrics, everything is already given. There's like no input from the singer. So I don't want to do it like that because end of the day it's independent music. So we can do whatever the hell we want. And I want uh, the artist input and the song should be molded to their vision mm, exactly right? yeah. and uh, that's why I always went with like whatever his ideas are so he took, gave me a couple of reference too so in the, man, in the Marian, that would be good I wanted more like R&B song and obviously like uh, we are both also like 90s R&B guys <laughs> and then we wanted to kind of go with that with that vibe and then that's how the song was created yeah. and then I made him write the lyrics we fixed that up recorded it then so uh, how was the, the first time when you heard the, the draft cut with your voice with the Music, because this is original. Yeah. Color is okay, because yeah. you heard it before with right. your own voice. But this is completely different stage, right? So yeah, it was, uh, it happened pretty quickly, right? Like, yeah, he, he had the music, so we're like, all right, put the lyrics together. So we did that in like a week. And he came and he was like, all right, we're ready to start recording. <laughs> Always, it's like, he just tries to throw me out of the bus, right? I show up, like, ready, like, you know, to work on the lyrics. He's like, okay, I think we're ready to record this. I'm like, record what? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know what this is. Because we would like fix the lyrics and then Pallavi, part the Pallavi in the lyrics ready. And I said, okay, bro, either ready or record button. He's like, like what? what? Why don't we fix the rest too? I was like, no, let's go my part. This is yeah. done. Let's record this. He, I think he's, I, I feel like sometimes I laugh to myself because I'm like, I feel like he's learned yeah. where he's like, no, if we push this off, like it's going to get pushed off with push me, it. like, because yeah. I'll just try to push it off. So he's like, you know, we did this bit. Let's just, you know, let's try recording it yeah, and, yeah. and get it done. Right. So I have it really fast. Uh, Even the timeline of the part in the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah probably. <laughs> We'd still be recording like the second verse right now. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it was, that was a lot of fun because that was like one of the things uh, I didn't tell anybody about that I was, that I was doing. I think I, I mentioned it to my brother that I was. Uh, I was going to ask, did you yeah, tell your brother? Yeah. I told my, the thing is, I told my brother, like, hey, uh, Steve's talking about doing an original song. Yeah. He wants to do it in Tomo. And I started laughing and he's like, Yeah, I understand why he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, I think you'll figure it out, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, but because we're not I was too confident about yeah. that, right? Writing in Tamil, but like he was excited about it. But this is something I actually didn't show him until it was completed. Yeah. Usually oh. I'll show him yeah, like yeah. segment by segment. Every time he sends me a demo, I'll send it straight to yeah, him. Yeah. I'll be like, hey, what do you think? Uh, this one I actually waited and I showed him, my wife and my sister at the same time. Uh, nice. So okay. my wife didn't know anything, any of this was happening too, right? So, right, so, right. Because it was about her too, so <laughs> I knew she'd be like, oh, you know, why don't you just change the name to something else? Like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, uh, I'll just put it out where it's done, right? Yeah. So that was cool. What did, awesome. they, what, what did your family say when they heard the, the original song for the first time? Uh, yeah, they they uh, really, really loved it. Like, uh, all three of them. My wife didn't say anything for a while. I think she just kind of like caught off guard. Um, my sister was kind of picky on her because they listened to it together. She was just like, oh, is this about you? Is this about you? But, <laughs> <laughs> just made it like awkward as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my wife was like, why don't you show me this like after? Like, <laughs> like because it was like, you put her on the spot again. And uh, one of the jokes that uh, that came up with me and you was, 
I wonder, he, Steve was like, I wonder if your wife will ask who Lily is. Just make sure she knows it's like it's a flower. It's not, <laughs> not the girl's name. Yeah. It's funny. She didn't say that, but her sister was like, who's Lily? <laughs> I know who Minnie is. Who's Lily? I'm like, she's. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, like this girl, right? Because <laughs> we wrote the lyrics, and that's what I said. And the, Lily, Lily, man. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, make sure they know with me not singing about another girl here. Another girl is a flower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I think there's no more dro- bombs to drop for you, though. Because we did it all now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We got your covers done. We did an original. Yeah. So now the only bomb that is there is you have to continuously keep posting covers and and thing until you stop coming. Until you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I hope is not anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. He's like, that's it. We're done. He's like, no. 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 having way too much fun for me to do that. Yeah. 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 For sure. But yeah, so he's, he's like multifaceted, right? So he has like so many different things he's able to do. But I was also thinking like for our next production, we should like include your Mridangam skills too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. And then what I wanted to ask also is like we spoke about your your siblings, your wife, but two very important people. We mentioned them obviously multiple times, but we didn't really talk about them. Obviously, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. So what was uh, their take on all of this? Right, so when they yeah. like they like gradually they saw like okay oh shit this guy is like doing so many different things musically, yeah, musically now, now right so it was like the covers at first and then they also heard the covers right. only at the wedding the first time they didn't know anything yeah. beforehand then eventually you released your original song so what was there like uh, comments to all of this so the, yeah I, I vaguely remember like at the wedding when the second one was going on my obviously my parents were like behind me yeah. at, at, on the altar. And then when the, the priest said, hey, this is like his voice, I just remember hearing my dad go, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was it. That's all. That's all I heard. Because okay. both of them didn't know. So they were like yeah. shocked because they know how I am. Yeah. And my mom is a very outgoing person and she sings and she grew up singing. So she, like, she'll sing in public and stuff. She'll yeah. record stuff. She'll do all that. Yeah. But she knows that I'm more like my dad who's like, you know, like more reserved and like, like, you know, be in the background kind of thing. So they were really shocked about that. And I think... When we started recording covers, uh, my dad really loved the, a lot of my friends at the reception and stuff were like, yo, your dad's getting really excited about the like medley and stuff. He was like filming you, like he was the videographer, like with his phone, like yeah, going he around. he was going nuts. Like, he loved it. Around. Yeah, he loved it. <laughs> yeah. And we found out at the reception that hey, uh, Steve and my dad actually knew each other from like yeah, way back. Yeah, that's fun fact. Like I know <laughs> the, his parents like way longer than I even, before I even oh, met really? him. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like uh, other family friends, I've yeah, seen yeah, them yeah. a lot around there. And uh, I, yeah, so Anga Bono then, his yeah. dad came around and said, oh, Steve, what are you doing here? And I was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, yeah, I was like, this is a funny part. I went to Mahanda wedding and like, Reception. Now, what are you doing? And I was like, yeah. and then the Maganda reception. Like, I was like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, because he didn't know it's my dad. Yeah. I just remember he's just like. Then he came to me yeah. after talking to you, realizing he's like, how do you know Steve? I'm like, <laughs> oh, uh, like Dashika, like introduce us. How does Dashika know Steve? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like questioning everything. He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I've known Steve forever. And he's like, I'm like, listen, man, you could have told me. I would have got some free sessions. <laughs> he's like, no, no, that's not how it works. Because I know I'm like, literally, like when I started coming to Canada, like back and forth when I was yeah, traveling yeah, yeah. for, for TVI's uh, Superstar show and stuff. <clears throat> and the time, eh, I, I met a bunch of people, became really good friends with them. Right. Funny part is like some of the people are like, obviously my my uh, parents' age and stuff, like including like his parents and yeah. stuff. Mm. And under Circle of I was like invited a lot of times. So up on the circle of that, uh, I met uh, his parents a while back, right? Oh, and then, that's crazy, uh, yeah. Bro. So I went up and then I met him. He was a super nice guy. And so Banka Kandir, that's so funny. I'm asking <laughs> at his son's reception, I said, What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. So that was really cool. That's why I was, I was like very curious to hear like what, what his uh, reaction to all of this is because yeah. he was so proud. like we had like a couple of shots together. It's like, yeah. Steve, thank you so much for doing this. We should have a shot. And yeah, then yeah. like uh, half an hour later, you come back again. Oh, I'm so happy. We should have a shot. I was like, are you? <laughs> In the matter of fact, this guy will come. Bro, I'm so happy, bro. Let's have a shot. <laughs> I was like, okay, guys, I think I had enough now. Because <laughs> I was so nervous leading up to the medley too, right? Yeah, so yeah. I was just like, after that, I was just like, okay, okay, we got it. It worked out exactly like I wanted. I think. Oh, what a small world. Eh? Yeah, like, uh, it was crazy. Yeah. And I, I met his uh, mom a few times uh, through that as well. But uh, 
uh, at that moment she didn't really uh, like it didn't recognize really me too yeah, I yeah, think yeah. Uh, who's this motta padi <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that then you were shame right adu pram me ungala appoda kai kada chen oh yes steve was there so in the motte nadu kai kada so yeah it's okay adu or periya kada vittirukku because i think too that um when we in that that time frame where we shot all these covers and we didn't do anything i think you ran into them at another wedding yeah like yeah. like a year later or something yeah. and then i remember you messaged me like hey bro I'm sitting beside your parents right now i'm like why is that your picture on your chilling with your parents yeah. i'm like why like what's going on and he's like oh we just had a wedding and he's like uh yeah your parents are asking me when we're going to start releasing your music and i was like oh okay, uh-huh. yeah, yeah let me just figure out you know the instagram <laughs> handle first so we'll yeah. go over there and yeah, i was that time that time okay 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 yeah so that's, that's so cool. all that happened so i wanted to so, to to kind of like come to a to an end of our podcast here today i also wanted to bring out another side of yours which is like briefly like uh, you mentioned mm, it yeah. like your cookie business and stuff you love yeah. to bake and stuff so people were like huh? இப்படி இந்த தாடியும் வச்சு முடியும் வளர்த்து அப்படி இருக்கிறேன் ஒரு பாடி பில்டர் வேற இருக்கிறேன் இவர் பேக் பண்ண வேற அதுவும் யோசிப்பாங்க you like to bake yeah, trust me when i go to when i go to these markets and and stuff like with the cookies uh some people ask me so uh who made oh, this oh your wife drag you here like she's the baker you you're like here to sell them like no, it's like all the way around I know, yeah. <laughs> and they're like what uh yeah it's like that's for you it's like a uh, right children's books as well right so mm. sometimes when i go for readings they don't expect like you know me to go cuz name they don't. I I kind of show up and I'm like with my hair and uh, beard and they're just like oh okay I okay. think you found, I think you're in the wrong place so like no no I <laughs> prefer like you're reading or whatever yeah. Uh yeah that's um something I I started I did it like baking and cooking for a long time and then during covid that was like the only thing obviously a lot of people yeah. did that right so I yeah. started taking that time to enhance different skills right um I knew sitting at home and stuff I was going to get fat so I started working out more <laughs> and then I would bake more oh, wow. so then I would so start like evens w- out yeah so even out right idhil or kadi idhil or pudi kadi pudi almost like that uh so I started working on those skills and stuff and then eventually I was like oh maybe you know uh they got in really good so maybe I could start selling these things hmm. and the dream now is to like open a store for I've been doing markets for a long time actually baked uh, it's like 450 cookies for the wedding as oh, uh, okay. favors so i made oh. those too so i was like that would be like the start of it yeah right no, so I, i i got the lo- logo ready and everything and then i made the cookies uh, i think two days before the wedding and then <laughs> started sticking everything my friends helped yeah. me out like putting the boxes together yeah. and then i was like this is the official yeah, wedding kind of full attention and we like in the Whoa, this cookies did songs and then the <laughs> cookies too i'm like that's Whoa, crazy that's crazy yeah. yeah i was like uh w- yeah with the wedding i was like i wanted things to kind of be personalized very personal yeah, yeah, so yeah. i wanted to have like my hands like my hands in everything right so yeah. i was like okay come up with this do this do this so i was like at the end of the day when you look back at it you'll forget a lot of things that happened that day yeah but that's something i was like hey we did this together well wow, these are the main thing was stand out yeah, right yeah, so yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, we will put like the in the descriptions his handle for the cookie business as well yeah we have we had uh, the pleasure to to exactly uh, i was going to mention that yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> different <laughs> different flavors and uh, it was delicious was delicious i regret that i so late yeah and kuripa he brought few cookies for me and all on the one purple i did ராசவளி கிழங்குல செய்யறாசவளி கிழங்குல குக்கியா சரி சாப்பிட பாக்கணும் Yeah you had yeah. few of them so one like very chocolatey ones and obviously I'm I'm a hardcore chocolate fan so other mudal saapnama I tried okay idu mudal saapnom and that chocolate I would love anyways and yeah I love that one better than the chocolate ones I was like oh, holy really? cow this is this tastes like so <laughs> good right and and I think that was like also I'm sure like people try different different things obviously yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. for me it was the first to to see someone make cookies out of uh, rasavali kalanga right with that flavor and I was like holy this is this is crazy what is rasavali kalanga in english it's a purple yam oh yeah that's the name for it yeah it's like pur- it's no, a, just in it's case a, they yeah. don't know what is it so <laughs> well yeah, yeah i said purple so kind of i'll go purple cushion next time go it's a kalanga kalanga okay it's pretty cool yeah 
இல்லை பேப்பிளான சில சில லிஸ்னஸுக்கு வேறு மாதிரி விளங்கும் ஸோ அது இட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ லீகல் இன் கனடா ஸோ யூ ஹேவ் டு டிஸ்க்ளோஸ் தட் தட் வி நாட் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் தட் எனவே ஸோ ஹி ஹி சேட் அன் அதர் திங் அதுவும் அவர் சட்லாக ஓகே அது சின்ன விஷயம் மாதிரி அது சைட்டில் சைட்டில் சொல்லி போட்டு குக்கி பிஸ்னஸ் பற்றி காய்க்க கதைங்க வந்து அதை சைட்டில் சொல்லி போட்டு அப்படியே குக்கி பிஸ்னஸை பற்றி காய்ச்சவர் ஹி ரைட்ஸ் சில்ட்ரன் புக்ஸ் யா So let's talk about that. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, See, this yeah, guy yeah. didn't even notice that he talked about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's awesome. I didn't actually. He's older like 20 See? minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> We literally, <laughs> the, he says, literally said that, yeah, even when I go for the readings, people are like, you're at the wrong place. And so he said that. No, not reading. Yeah. I thought like he goes to places reading for like libraries and stuff for kids. I didn't know it was yeah. his book. It's his book. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he writes, no, no, no. I didn't, I didn't get it like that. If yeah, he had yeah. said, yeah, my books yeah, are no, good. He mentioned that. You, that's yeah. a scene. He didn't even notice it. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I heard that part. Yeah, that yeah. I goes for reading yeah, people. Yeah. No, I know, but you didn't notice that he actually writes the books. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 See, no. See, that's why I'm bringing that up. See, okay. this guy is like, has so many sides Yo, to him. Like, you would not even, <laughs> you would not even like expect. So why don't we speak about that a little bit? Yeah, so that's a passion of mine, writing. Um, this guy just fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was just snoring. Like, just re- <laughs> reminding us he's there, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a passion of mine, writing. Uh, so... How many books have you written so far? Uh, I have one released. Okay. One on the way. Uh, picture books. And I finished a couple of novels that are still like in the editing process for a long time. Nice. Um, What are the age group? Uh, the, the picture books are more for kids, right? So yeah. like kindergarten, grade one, grade two, like, uh, like that range. Yeah. Uh, the, the novels are more like eight, eight to twelve. Eight to twelve, okay. Yeah. Because well, my, my son those, loved books, so... Yeah. So like, here you go. Customized, yeah, yeah, yeah. personalized. So someone yeah. getting booked from someone I know, that's yeah. even better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, got, I, got, I released that during COVID, the first one. Uh, and yeah, that was cool. That was uh, good to see. It was, you know, you wrote something, you had the pictures done and everything's yeah. there. And like that's you could so see cool. it's an actual yeah. book. Kids reading it in schools and stuff. So how did you get stuff. into it? How did you, how did you like realize you have, you have that... skill to write books for kids. I mean that's yeah. not an easy thing thing to do. Writing books is obviously not easy, but let's say you write a novel like a crime thing or like a thriller whatever it is, you write something yeah. like that. Uh, it's obviously completely different because you can like kind of go all in I guess with all your imagination. Yeah. And um, but for kids book and all the nare vishayam yosikava nirga. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's, it's very sensitive and, and uh, sensitive on issue of vishayangal vera kudadu mettadu and the kids like should not disturb their uh, psychological growth and stuff. Yeah. So other like nare vishayangal all yosikonum right? So how did you realize okay you have that that skill? Uh, actually it's something I just one day I had some time so I went to like a coffee shop. <clears throat> I sat there with a notebook and a pen and I, I'm like, let me just see if I can do this. So I started uh, writing one and then I wrote the first story in maybe like 20 minutes. Okay. okay the first oh. story, like front to, front to end. Uh, obviously it needed work. It was just kind of like a rough draft. Rough. But yeah, yeah. for the majority, like most of it was what ended up in the book. Mm. Right. So when I realized I did it that fast, I was like, oh, this is weird. So I sent it to like, uh one of my cousins who's also a writer I was like okay what do you think of this you're not a kids writer like you don't write for children but like yeah. is this something that's like actually halfway decent and she really liked it and then she was the one who told me how hard writing for children actually is yeah. and she's like you managed to do it i'm like is it really that hard i'm like it's so, about how, how come you picked for kids like is that anything um crossed your mind i or? grew up with robert munch books all oh, right okay so like i don't know if you guys like Uh, read a lot of those growing up but his books kind of shaped a lot of our childhoods right so like every everywhere you went any school without the internet stuff like everyone managed to read the same books yeah. right yeah, yeah so i was like i want to ha- have that kind of impact and all of his books as goofy and silly as the like you know the beginning and middle will be the ending always came with a lesson right. something that you know value yourself value other people mm. uh, don't think take things for granted and things like that right, right. so it's like that's a, like i like i like that i like that the uh, whole concept so it's like let me try doing something like that so my first book was a, is about a little girl who's a lot shorter than everybody her age all right okay. and her only goal in life is to grow taller so she comes into different uh, situations where everyone makes fun of her hey uh, you know why why so short stuff like that yeah. right and <clears throat> she'll go through to any lengths to try to get taller like 
you know, having kids pull like the gloves, <laughs> all this stuff, like, yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. to stretch it out, like yeah, your yeah. friend will give her ideas. But then my whole idea was like, by the end of the book, I want her to realize that she's already big, like mm. a big person, like she's, you know, giving and loving and all yeah. that stuff. So that was the whole goal. I was like, can I put this into story format? And it worked out, the first book. What is wow. it surprising me that himself is very tall, yeah. but understanding a kid would go through that yeah. and put maybe, that into book. Maybe he was a short kid. Yeah, no, I, yeah. <laughs> Were you? No, I wasn't that short okay. actually, but I would see other people get yeah. picked on like, oh, even right, like right. for school, like the pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, they have like first row, second row. Yeah. You always knew the person sitting in the bench was the shortest person, shortest right? Yeah, yeah. So you always want to be at the top, yeah, right? Yeah, and right. it was like, there was always an <laughs> argument. They'd be like, hey, like I'm standing at the top. No, you're, you're here, right? Yeah. So. Until like high school, I was always like the shortest in school. To be I was always the already? shortest. Because <clears throat> I, I grew up in Germany. I was born oh, there. So yeah. obviously, German got a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very young, right? <laughs> Any German people watching yeah. this? So they're like super, super tall and, and like widely built and stuff right. like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And um, right, that's true. I was always like the shortest. And then eventually, like in, in high school, like I, I grew all of a sudden. And then I was like kind of their height. And I was like, Appara. Appara. <laughs> <God." laughs> that so, now you have that one book published. So how can people get hold of it? Um, yeah, we can actually tag the, the book page as well. There's a page on Instagram. I start uh, posting the newer stuff as well. It's on Nalakshin uh, underscore Nook. Mm. Um, so we could we could do that, and it's on Amazon. If you awesome. search my name, uh, it's, it's readily available there. So how, too. how was the response for the book? Like when once it came out? Yeah, I managed to actually go to a few schools uh, and do readings with the teachers and the students. Yeah. Uh, so that was really cool. The kids really liked it. Uh, the, the teachers liked it. They liked the value, the lesson mm. in it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I was, a, but I was, was able to expand topic it. Also, I mean, yeah. has, has it touches like bullying. Yeah. It touches like um, building self confidence, understanding your own value and yeah. stuff like that, right? So it's 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 a very important uh, message that you put together within like twenty minutes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, so that's why definitely schools would appreciate that. And yeah. that's, I'm glad to hear that uh, you were invited to a bunch of them to to present like your. Yeah. Your book, right? To yeah. these kids. It, it, that's always uh, fun, right? To see the kids' reactions and stuff. Yeah. I think once when I was like kind of just demoing it, I didn't have any pictures. This is like years ago. I went to a uh, kindergarten class, two of them, and I read it. And the teacher uh, who I knew was like, hey, kids, like, do you have any questions or how do you like the book? And everyone's like, oh, I loved it. And then there was this one kid in the <laughs> back. He put up his hand. He's like, I didn't... Uh, like it that much I was like oh okay like that's cool why it's like it, it was too long was like, yeah, okay thank you <laughs> I was like that's fair enough <laughs> I, I get it it's nap time <laughs> well that's good I mean the kid was honest right? no oh, yeah, yeah no which I loved right yeah. but uh, it's cool because the, my whole goal with that too was get the lesson but also have something for the parents uh, that read the kids these stories and or the teachers to have something mm. to talk about at the end yeah mm. so maybe some of the kids, they'll fly over their head like what the lesson is, right? Like yeah, they won't yeah, understand yeah. it. But it gives the teacher an opportunity to be like, to explain. What, did you, what did you get from this? And yeah. then explain right. it. And that's how kids learn, right? Mm. Yeah. So that was a goal because it's not like the kid's going to sit there and just, like, you know, when they're in kindergarten, just read it by themselves, right? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. Nice. So what can we expect from Nilakshan? In the future. Whatever bombs Steve throws at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what he's going to come away. Yeah, it's it's what the bomb you're going to throw. Yeah. But that's okay. That's musical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I guess in the near future, hopefully in the very near future, we can uh, come and buy these cookies in one of your storefronts. Yeah, I'm trying to get that going now. Trying but to did, 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 did you hear how I said one of your storefronts? One of, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> nice franchise. <laughs> Let, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, you have to start with one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. But, yeah. uh, you know, there's, it's good to see, like, a lot of people are exploring different, different things. So when we grew up, for example, that was not... Uh, do you think when you, if you told your parents, like, after high school or before you enter university, you tell them, I love to bake. I want to open up a bakery or, like, a cookie <laughs> shop or whatever it is, like a little uh, storefront and stuff. Like, I, yeah. I don't think I need to go to university and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I'm going to write a book for kids. Yeah. Yeah. Or re release yeah, the original that's song. That's fine, go to school. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's good. I mean, now, uh, like for the younger generation now, they have it easier than we did because uh, 
people are like the parents now are more open to these things yeah, and yeah. they're letting the kids explore these things and right. that's something we have to uh, appreciate a lot because naanga ipa konjam later on in our life than sila vishayangala vandu seiyakudida endru so i i same thing for me obviously before entering university if i told my parents yeah i want to do full time music they would have been like i freaking dumb and not telling you know right uh, but in the case, in this case like i made the deal with them okay they they said okay unak rendu valiyum kaati irukke you have to finish your studies and then you can do whatever you want because right. you have always a backup so yeah. it's important to yeah. do that so but now it's that even changed now so parents are okay to let the kids try it's i know that it's all about trial and error yeah, right yeah. so you try it if it doesn't work out you move on to something else yeah. and because the parents nowadays they have good resource they can look up or yeah. something you know yeah, yeah. There, there, our parents they didn't have that it, right? right so they yeah. could yeah. quickly cook up uh, look up what they need to yeah cuz they're talking about yeah, can, you, can you imagine like you know you want to open like you know a cookie business and you don't have the internet to access yeah. Yeah. hey what are the steps to do this yeah. like how am i going you have to go stand in line to find out what grants are and then yeah. they'll turn exactly. you back like that's a lot of that's scary right yeah, yeah. Like, but like some of our parents like managed to still you know still figure start their business and, and figure it out like yeah. for us we have it a bit easier to just google it we can just google it like quick question we know the answer right yeah yeah exactly so even for like like the kids that our generation has like if a kid comes up to you and asks you hey how does this work like you don't have to make up anything anymore you yeah. can yeah, actually you look, can it look it up look it up and, and then explain. you can tell them right so yeah, exactly, those resources yeah. are like you can't yeah. put a value on right so exactly so we have to just take the best out of everything that's end of the day what it is right. and uh, yeah so internet la nere kuda vishayangal irukkandu nere pe so aadanga padavinam for example i just read like an article too um where i think it's in ontario too like um the school boards are like suing um meta and and tiktok and stuff because uh, because of them the learning of the kids is affected and they're distracted right mm. and they're not able to learn but how is that those people's mistake they're running a, yeah they're running Which a business is, it's up to you to control if yeah. you guys want to know more about that we talked about it in one we of our podcasts okay 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 okay, okay. Yeah. 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 so you could link yeah. it up yeah so, which is crazy like yeah. blaming everything around but at the end of the day it's come down to the parents yeah 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 anything, yeah. 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 anything right. everything you can access I mean, anything on the internet but yeah. uh, to give the access that's end of the day as a parent it's your duty to make sure your kids are not able to access yeah bad stuff mm. because it is accessible so you have yeah, to make I sure mean, they don't get hard, to that it's hard to control every aspect of a kid's life right yeah. when they go to school they learn stuff and exactly. they're able to access stuff yeah. but i mean as long as our, i guess our goal is to teach these kids yeah. like what's good what's bad and yeah. just not like just labeling things good and bad but yeah. explaining why things can be yeah. helpful or like take away from like dumb exactly, right as people yeah. so that's important i think nang ellam school boy ge phone illa vanda malandranga right they have cell phone iruke illa but now every little kid has a cell phone so i think okay apart from high school right all the kids are being dropped off and picked up so why do you need a phone right exactly you don't need a phone yeah. your parents are coming to pick you up and they're dropping you off so you're not going to die with yeah. that time because there's a teacher who's going to look after yeah. you at that time right so they don't need to have a phone uh, where they can you know go under the table and be like yeah, yeah. text in and then be like oh I didn't know what the hell the teacher was saying right now and yeah, they failed in the test and all that <laughs> stuff so it, it's it's end of the day it's all about like discipline right yeah. and I think mm-hmm. that is kind of going away little by little because people don't value discipline as much anymore but that's yeah. a different topic which we don't have to discuss with <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so I'm happy that we got to see like a multiple sides of you it's not just about uh, the obviously in private life we are we do all of whatever we are doing but uh, in the public life it's not like you're just a, a musician or singer you are you are also um yeah and then you're a lyricist technically <laughs> as well, yeah. right you're yeah. a lyricist and uh, you you are a writer? baker and you're a writer right. so there there's like so many different things to you and uh, yeah and this podcast is supposed to help to bring those uh, other skills that someone has out mm, right, and yeah. Uh, yeah we will obviously help you promote um, your businesses your other businesses yeah. as well uh-huh. and mm, uh, yeah and hopefully our family of uh, gujalarapam chilla kalapam keeps growing yeah 
it's going slowly but steadily. steadily so that's yeah. what's more important: growing yeah. fast and then losing the followers is, is <laughs> bad. But growing slowly and steadily, I prefer that, and I'm happy with that. So whatever we talk about in our episodes, if you uh, connect to it, if one person connects to it and can take something away from it, that's a win for us, and uh, that's all we are looking for. So you know, before we go, yeah. uh, he's all his, his songs that you can go and check it out on Instagram as well, yeah. and his originals is on all streaming platform. So I just want to yeah. mention that so you can have yes. take it out. <laughs> yeah. So you may you may um, think right now, okay, uh, last week in Divina's episode, this guy made her sing uh, and stuff. Even in part of Akeli and I was like, I'm going to drop a bomb. I'm not 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 going to drop a bomb. But don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to sing. <laughs> But we, we keep that for another time. Yeah, yeah. but yeah you guys go check out his covers um, uh, on Instagram the handle is Nilak Music uh, N-E-L-A-K and the music and then uh, yeah you can obviously also go to my uh, Instagram if you do forget Nilak Music by then the <laughs> handle you can go on mine and then search his stuff up it's all, all there and uh, yeah check for, for Min Mini on all streaming platforms and yeah the feedback so far was awesome yeah for the song people love the vibe because it's a very chill song yeah, yeah it is, it is. and then uh, yeah so keep supporting independent artists and uh, yeah as much as you watch funny and uh, stupid videos on uh, on social media as well please share valuable content as well and Which please we help. also have that yeah. on our podcast yeah. as well and please so help yeah. growing uh, and pushing talented artists as yeah. well Yeah. Right, and I like I always say in every episode I've said this sentence. I'm going to say that to conclude this episode as well. You guys have the power to suppress an artist and also elevate an artist. Mm, so absolutely. don't elevate only bullshit. Elevate like good stuff as well. Apni solli konde. Ungalada mere nende bolvete kolrale. Mihe mahachiyada iram. Nandri vanakam, and we see you guys in another episode of Gujala Irupam. Chilla kade pom next week.